All right, guys, it is once again, March 20th, 2024 now. For those of you new to my channel, I always do like a yearly update life video on the same day every single year for the past four years. It's been quite a roller coaster to see where I was from 2020 till now. So yeah, this is just kind of like a type of video diary update. I really never expect anybody to watch these things because I really don't think anybody watches these things. I kind of make them for like my own sake. I see it as like a step towards progress in my life and to see where I am a year ago, two years ago, three years ago. In that case, I would say that a lot has happened in the past year. As you guys know, I work for the Golden Knights and they just won the Stanley Cup this past year. Honestly, I really did not expect that at all. I was just taking a chance with my career and applied to the job. I heard about them before, knew they like went to the playoffs in recent years, but I really did not expect them to go all the way, especially six months after I started working there. It's insane, but it's awesome. I feel like I didn't have time to process all the stuff that happened within the first like six months of me moving to Las Vegas until I finally took like vacation time and I was like, fuck, that was a lot. It's crazy because like before then, you know, I was just working at like some marketing agency for a year. And then before that I was just a hostess, you know, like I really didn't expect for things to progress so quickly and how they went. I don't know, I feel like I got lucky in a way, but also learning more about myself and my career and living on my own for the first time. It's been a lot and I feel like it's been getting better as well. You know, I've been hanging out with a number of people outside of work and it's been a lot of fun to go with them on emo nights, concerts and stuff. So that's been fun. I'm also kind of like running on Steam right now because this week it's been a game every other day and I'm like really tired right now. So I'll just keep this stuff short. You know, I, I've stated in the past that I've been dealing with chronic pain. I feel like it's gotten better within the past year, especially since I've started like consistently working out, working out a lot and trying new ways to like avoid things from shifting because like right now I have like a lateral pelvic tilt which is why like I'm in pain and it really sucks but I've been figuring out new ways to like try to get rid of the pain for good it's not like 100% gone but I feel like I'm like 95% there and that last 5% has been so annoying uh once I finish paying a couple things off I'm gonna join up Pilates gym and do like some private classes and stuff like that because I heard like Pilates really helps with like core strength and posture and I feel like those two things as well as like my weak feet like I need to exercise like all those things that would help fix my issues or just help things from not shifting as often as they should be. Because, you know, I, I've stayed in the past before. I like, I have a really terrible posture. I feel like lately I've been trying to figure out how to stop slouching so much. It's one of the biggest insecurities I've had for like a long time now and it just, it's so dumb. I feel like it's been getting better and I really want to try to do the Pilates regularly and then see where I am by the end of the year. And like, hopefully that'll be the end of it. God, I'm, I'm like so sick of like obsessing over this pain thing every day for the past four years. Like it's really fucking annoying. And I've been learning how to stop bad habits as well as figuring out ways to strengthen myself. The past couple days, my shoe inserts have been like really bothering me. And I feel like it's because I've been working on my feet like practically every day that like maybe it's working. You know, I never really heard of like fixing falling arches, but like I looked it up and if you do like exercises all the time, you could fix them. I don't know, I feel like I, I might be fixing them. I don't know, but like, we'll see. I only started doing this like a month ago, so we'll figure that out. I am very proud of myself for going to the gym a lot. I know I mentioned like I work a lot and I mean like a lot, but like don't think that like I have like zero life. Like all I do is work. Like if I have time to go to the gym like five days a week, clearly I have time outside of work to do things. Don't think I'm like 
too overwhelmed by my job or work or whatever. It's not like that at all. There's just like, you know, there's like some waves. They said like the beginning of the season and the end of the season are like the two most stressful times when it comes to work. Outside of that, it's been uh, fine. Like I have time to do stuff. I'm so ready to like move on from the past and past traumas and pains in my life. I'm also starting therapy like next week, which is something I've been meaning to do for like years now. And I always just kept putting it off and procrastinating and not really taking care of myself. And I feel like since the beginning of this year, I've really like honed in on fixing myself. Like that's my number one priority right now is becoming the best person that I can be. Oh. It's so corny, like, don't, ah, it's so cheesy, but it's so true. I've been trying to fix things that I feel like I couldn't fix. The older I get, the less patience I have for bullshit. I've cut out so many friends in the past two years that like aren't exactly friends. They don't really treat you the way a friend should treat you. They always show up like two fucking hours late to everything. I only have time for people that are gonna put an effort in my life. I don't have time to put my energy and my effort into like stupid relationships. You know, if I'm friends with you and if I talk to you and I say I care about you, 1000% I mean it, you know, I'm not gonna like bullshit relationships. I moved away, I moved away from my friends and family. And if I come home and I go see you and I make time to see you, that means I really fucking care about you. I'm not like gonna call you. You think that I don't care about you. Like, no, I do. And if I want you to visit, it's the same thing. It's because I fucking care about you. But like, if you waste my fucking time, make me wait around for you to show up for like two hours. Like, nah, I don't, I don't have time for that. You know, like when I'm home, I'm only home for like a week or something like that. Like I don't have freaking time to waste. The older you get, the more you want to just be surrounded by people that respect you and your life and your space, you know? I'm there for the people they're gonna be there for me. Also, like, I'm just cutting out anything toxic or bad or doesn't help you move forward in life because, like, again, I don't have time for that. You know, I'm so tired of allowing things and people to beat me down and make me feel like crap all the time because I don't like feeling like crap all the time. That's why I decided that I wanna go to freaking therapy because I wanna get over that, you know? like. You live and you learn. You learn not to be friends with those types of people ever again. You learn to not get in those types of situations again. So, you know, I'm just working so hard to fix things and not live my life in freaking misery. <laughs> That's kind of where I'm at right now. My garbage can is like right next to my couch and I don't know why it smells like shit. I cut up a banana the other day and I feel like bananas reek. So that's probably what I'm smelling is just like banana fumes. <laughs> this is so weird. Okay. Right now this year is kind of like a turning page for something great that's about to come. That's all I can say. That's what the vibe is right now. So we'll see. Okay. Uh, thanks for watching. If you made it to the end of this, god damn. I don't know why you did, but uh, thank you for watching, and I'll see you later. Okay, cool. Bye.